what's up you guys? Chelsea Briggs here at the Billboard Hot 100 Festival and I'm joined right now by Daya. What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, you look so cute as always. Yeah, thank you. Rocking thank the you. sneakers that I feel like you have to show everyone. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I'm a boxer today. <laughs> I feel like I could just like take someone out. You're ready to take on the day. I might. <laughs> uh, well, it's Don't be me to me. A day like this where you know you're performing, it's not as hot as we thought it was going to be, but how do you sort of pep, pep talk yourself in the mornings? Um, I don't know. I usually try to stay pretty calm and like not think about it at yeah. all <laughs> until like 30 minutes before and then I freak out like borderline anxiety <laughs> attack. Right before. Like, I mean, yeah, it's just I, I feel like when the crowd's like fully there and I kind of have like, you know, everything I'm doing all my warm stuff. It's just like a very yeah. like it's a, it's an adrenaline rush. So yeah. But at what moment crazy. then you get on the stage and you feel like it just it just oh yeah then it all goes away. Yeah yeah. What's your favorite part about performing? Um, I honestly I love like seeing my fans. I love seeing people that like um, you know at a festival like this. It's not necessarily all my fans, but yeah. it's cool to see people that are singing along and like so so connect with my lyrics and stuff. So I I feel like it's always cool just to keep building like that. Yeah. yeah. I want to talk about your new song, Safe. It's such an incredible song. Thank you. And I feel like for you, you're 19 years old, but I feel like you're writing these songs that, that have so much depth to them and have so much heart. Talk to me about writing that song. And I know you wrote it uh, right after the Vegas shooting happened. Yeah. T take us back to that moment where, where you, you felt like you had to speak your heart on that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I feel like it's just, um, it's it's honestly something that like I write from feelings first, so I like I feel things and then like I try to translate into that that into lyrics or songs. But for this, it was just like kind of inevitable for me to write about mm -hmm. it at some point, um, as I feel like a lot of people have been kind of recently talking about it. But um, it just it it really just made me like reflect on like the times of my life where I felt like the illusion of safety, mm -hmm. um, especially when I was younger. And I feel like everyone feels that at some point in their lives. So it's just like reflecting on that versus like actual reality and how do we cope with that and how do we like, you know, it's it's it can be scary sometimes. Yeah. Well, so, and that's true. It's so relatable. Yeah. And I think that's the thing for me when I when I listen to it, I was like, yeah, you're right. We can all. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to just be like a blanket of safety, especially for the survivors and people who yeah. have gone through um, something who have like lost a family member lost a friend or whatever it is like I feel like I want there to be like a blanket of safety for them to feel whenever they they can well yeah. I know your fans are super excited and we're excited about your new music you're working on right now Thanks. and I've heard you talk about that you're you're really getting more creative control this time around yeah uh, and you're really taking risks and doing different things kind of talk yeah. talk to us about what you're working on right now and what we can expect um so I just signed an interscope last year and um thank you <laughs> um they're great they're amazing and I feel like they've been the ones pushing me to kind of like develop my own voice and my own style and I feel like that's super important especially with the major label that they're letting me do that um so this past year I've been kind of exploring and just seeing what works for me um but I've I've really like found parts of me that I didn't even know were there uh -huh. over the past year um, so I'm excited to share that with everyone. What, what's inspiring you right now? Like, what, what are you going through? What can you kind of um, can you tell us about? I mean, so much. Um, my song Safe, and then I've been just writing a lot of other songs. I, I have a, I'm in a new relationship, so that's inspiring. That's exciting. Um, yeah, so there, I've pulled a lot from that. It, it's kind of funny because I, like, started over completely uh -huh. with the album process. Like, once you, like, experience something in real life, you're like, oh, and then... It's like something as big as a relationship you're yeah. like okay well this like changes everything that I feel uh -huh. about everything so then you just like start from square one so I've seen you do a little PDA on your social media with your new relationship <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you, is she okay with you sharing yeah no it, she, is she, she loves writing it. songs about you like um, is she yeah she loves, she loves it she loves it she loves like hearing my it was funny because it was like kind of kept on the DL for a while because yeah. she's also at the label um so everyone was playing the songs of the label and she was there and she was like oh my god I, like I know that these are about me but like no one else knows that so she <laughs> had like you yeah. Yeah, like, oh, it sounds good. Yeah. Babe, but. <laughs> yeah. But she's, I mean, she's amazing. She's like been dealing with all of this so well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. How does that process? So do you guys play each other, each other's music and kind of get, um, yeah, well, she's actually, she does photo and video. So mm -hmm. we've collaborated a, a bit now. Yeah. yeah. And that's how we first met too. So that's, we always come back to that. We always like feel very comfortable. That's I feel cool. really comfortable in front of her and yeah, vice versa. So that's we, amazing. yeah, we love working together. I love that you're so smiley. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about the fact that a new relationship glow. I know, look at this, glow, <laughs> I love it. Uh, and another thing that probably made you glow for a couple of years was the fact that you won a Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever have to like, do you have pinch me moments where you kind of, br you're brought back to that moment of like, oh yeah, I, I won a Grammy, that's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, some, some, <laughs> definitely sometimes, yeah. definitely hits. Um, no, it's crazy. Um, 
I mean, every single day that I think about it, I'm just, every single day I think about it and I'm just like, it's happening. And it, it sets the bar high for my new stuff, so that's why I've can, kind of been taking my yeah, time a little bit. That's but, great. Um, but it's also just like so validating for me as an artist to, to know, yeah. Where's the Grammy sitting in your house right now? It's not in my house. My parents Where? confiscated it. Wait, they didn't what? trust me with it. Yeah. Wait, your parents have it. No, they didn't trust me with it. They were like, <laughs> she's going to break it or like lose it somewhere or whatever. So they were like, we're taking this. So they live in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. So they're probably like, just like showing it off to all of their their friends and adult at their like parties. They're the most popular people yeah. in your neighborhood. Yeah, they're the like, most popular. Let me take you on a tour of our house <laughs> through. That's so funny. Straight to the Grammy. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what are you most looking forward to coming up here? Um, I'm looking forward to new music, um, festivals. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. I love Billboard. I love you guys. Um, and yeah, just everything. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for everything coming up. You being such a strong female role model in the, in the industry, what do you hope fans take away from being, uh, female fans specifically, from being a fan of yours? Because I think that you have such a great platform right now and you have a voice, you know, you're open yeah. about voting in the LGBT community. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What do you, yeah. What do um, you no, I think, I think it's really important to um, stay vocal about what, what is going on in your community, how you feel about things, um, especially with, you know, voting. I think yeah. it's just, it's just, you know, you can move the needle one, one person's voice does matter so um, so I just hope that people stay active in their communities stay vocal about what they feel inspires them and yeah and um, and just like hit me up if you ever feeling <laughs> down <You're so> um, <laughs> okay a couple of fun questions I'm gonna ask you uh, who was your first celebrity crush oh god um, celebrity crush would be I don't know. Like your first one. Like I feel like mine was Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. Okay. <laughs> mine was probably Zach Efron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a very relatable one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you met him since? Like I'm um, sure you've seen him at award shows. No. Okay. I haven't. No. No. <laughs> he doesn't do it for you. I'm anymore, not. Though. Not into it anymore. Okay. Yeah. No Fair. offense, Zach. Have you He's, seen his him in his dreadlocks? He's got I dreadlocks now. No, I he haven't did. seen that. He, I don't. He was for a movie. But, I don't know. Um, what in your wardrobe do you wear the most? Um, probably my sneakers. Okay. I'm a big sneaker gal. As you can see. Yeah. The moon boots. Yeah. Um, what is your spirit animal? Oh, um, I don't know. Um, people tell me, I don't know. Like, people, everyone called me Goose when I was younger, but okay. I don't know what, like, what that says about me. A goose? I, I'm goose. Good. Uh, and what is your, what's the most embarrassing moment? We were kind of talking about, uh, wardrobe fails earlier. We were, um... I had like, oh my god, I've had so many. I had this one that was really, really bad where um, I was about to go on stage and my pants that was in the back and they were like super, super tight, like silver pants, these, these new pants that I was so excited to wear. Um, and the zipper broke like right no. before the show. And so of course, like everything was out. No. Um, yeah, it was really, really not great. How did you recover from um, it? Did you, you have to like, I, own I didn't that. have like other clothes with me. So I, all I had was my jacket, my leather jacket. So I tied it around my waist, but you know, leather, it doesn't yes. like stick like that. So oh my god. yeah, it was just. <laughs> Which is not a great. I just like stood there like this the entire time oh my during God. the performance. But I'm, yeah. I'm sure your fans were like so supportive. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> they definitely did not like, know what was going on, and I was not about to tell them. Um, awesome. So new music coming out very soon. Yeah. Do you have any release dates at all that you can kind of share with us? Or? Um, within the next couple of months. Okay. Yeah. All right. Get excited, you guys. Stay tuned. Everyone tuning in. Thank you so much for hanging Thank out you. with us. Thank you so have much. Have fun today. Yay. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. <laughs>